Hey there everyone, just going to do a little unboxing video of these Willwood Master Cylinders. Um, I'm going to go over each part that I'm getting for this build. Since there's really not a whole lot of information out about these, um, people that use them in race cars, they either make them themselves or, you know, they just buy them and use them. They don't really, there's, there's form posts, but you know, old boomers don't really like making YouTube videos. So I'm going to do a little unboxing, kind of go over what this is. So basically what I got is I have two of the seven eighths bore master cylinders. Sorry for my fucked up finger. And one of the three quarter inch. In the box, there's some paperwork. <clears throat> kind of goes over procedures, lame stuff. You don't have to worry about it. Um, shows you kind of the different setups, some of the stuff that it was really hard to find what this thread pitch is. Now you know it's 5 16 by 24, and that's going to be the female that's on their pedals there. It's a really odd thread size, but whatever. You can mount it remote. You can mount it with the big thing on top. You can mount it with the small one on top. They really do provide you with a nice set of options in the box here. So this is how it looks when it comes. Bunch of warnings, DOT crap. This is one of the 7 eighths ones. So this is how it sits in the box. It's got a little cap on the end. Come on, hard one-handed. So it's nice. They've got a little play in it. That's for your uh, swing and your pedal. Comes the locking nut. So that's how you'll use to adjust the pedal height how far it sits off the floor. Comes the dust cap. This is 1 8 by 27 NPT thread. I had to buy these little adapters to go to uh, inverted flare for my lines. Um, don't forget, you want to use a little bit of sealant on NPT. Um, I don't know if this is the right stuff, but I got some of the uh, Permatex. Um, that's their Teflon-based sealant. Um, me personally, on my 7 8 because they're going to be my brake master cylinders, I'm going to be using the larger ones. Um, don't forget to put on one of these uh, hose clamps that they put on. It's kind of annoying. The hose clamps look cool, but you can tell they kind of set them to a diameter and painted them, so they don't really move as nicely as they should because the paint or powder coat or whatever is in there. Um, overall, the finish on these is pretty nice. Um, I wish it was easier to tell what bore you're dealing with. It's The stamping for this is kind of worn out, so I couldn't really tell at first. I mean, I can tell here, 0 0.75, 3 quarter, really lightly says 0.88 on these. So I just took my white paint marker. Um, I got one of these Milwaukee ones that actually works really nice. And I wrote what it is on the bottom. So that's easier to identify. Um, if I end up switching out brakes and going with different master sizes, um, I can change it on the go. So... With my masters, my 7 eighths, I'm going to be running the bigger reservoir. Um, it does include everything to do remote mount. So if you don't have space or say you're mounting a lower in the car, um, you can use this. This would mount on your firewall. And this would go on top. And it has a hose that comes with it. It's rated for brake fluid. So it's not going to dissolve on you. Um, overall, they've got a real nice spring to them. So when you're using them for mechanical braking, ooh, that's not good for it. When you're using it for mechanical braking, it's got a good pedal feel. Um, I could tell on this one when I pop the cap off, which these slide off, you just kind of twist. There's a good seal, good O-ring in there. Um, some of the paint, some of the residue had kind of slipped and was inside there. Um, it was just like a light film. I don't think it's going to affect anything. Overall, the quality is really nice on these. My only complaint is I wish these were labeled a little bit better, but once you have it in the car, you know how often you're going to change it. So, not that big of a gripe. Comes with a bunch of stickers. Um, ye, they, they cost a bit, but honestly, you get what you pay for out of these. I'm not complaining. So, that's my unboxing. In a later video, I'll show them with the pedals, um, and I'm going to go over the slave cylinder that I got as well. So...